The Book of Boba Fett, Episode 3. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Squared and welcome back to some more Book of Boba Fett review. We're on to Episode 3 now and uh, last week spent a lot of time in the past. This week does the opposite, spends most of the time in the present, about 4-5 to five minutes in flashback sequences. Now to start with, Boba sort of deals with some petty crime. He's doing his, his job as the, as the new sort of crime lord of uh, Mos Espa. So he deals with some petty crime and he ends up employing a group of youngsters that did kind of feel out of place from the start and that did kind of continue for the rest of the show for me but he does employ them they are now part of his crew and of course after doing that business he gets in his back to tank as he usually does of an evening and uh, he goes through a little flashback sequence which is the only segment we get in the past um, and that involves him trying to sort of sort out beef continuing on from last week's episode trying to broker a deal um, with the people that he saved out in the desert, the ones that were actually killing the Tuscan Raiders. But when he comes back to the village, the Tuscan Raiders have been massacred. And this is actually quite sad. This is the first time I felt bad for Tuscan Raiders. I've never felt bad for him, but it was actually quite sad because they were his family. He had a little family going and they were very likable. And, uh, you know, you see that all of them have pretty much been massacred, including the leader. But you don't see the little one. You know, that's not completely specified. So hopefully the little one's alive and then Bob will team up with them again. Um, you know, or at least that that little Tuscan Raider again in a, in a future flashback. But we know it is the sort of the speeder biker gang that did it because they left their mark, and that's who Boba originally you know got the speeders from, stolen from, beat them all up in the bar. So you know, it's 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 coming back to to bite him, and it has affected him, and clearly that shaped him. Now Boba is abruptly awakened when uh, Chrysantan, Chrysantan, still trying to figure out how to pronounce that, attacks him while in his back to tank, and you know, I didn't think we'd get a fight between them so soon, but you do get a, a fight, uh, and Boba is not really in it as much, he's getting thrown around, he's getting, you know, pretty pushed around, messed up by Chrysantan, but uh, his, his new gang do come in and help, and so does Fennec. Um, and, and they and they end up dealing with him. Um, that was a cool little fight sequence. So I wasn't didn't realize we'd get that that fight sequence so soon. Um, but that was cool to see them in action. Boba does of course now have this Wookiee prisoner. But the Huts visit him. They pay him a visit. They say, "Listen, we're sorry." And while it does feel inauthentic of them to apologize because they've just sent an assassination attempt on him, they're trying to scarper. They're trying to get out of there, which tells you if the Huts are trying to escape. They really don't want to be around for the bad business, for the battle. Um, and they gift him a young Rancor, you know, a new one for the pit, which is very cool to see. Uh, but yeah, the, the huts are out of here. They're going back to Hutess, Hut, whatever their planet's called. They're heading back there or where, wherever their town is. They're, they're heading back. Boba lets the Wookiee free, which I think, you know, will work in his favor eventually. I think when Boba needs him, the Wookiee will return. You know, the Wookiee was like, damn. I didn't think he'd do that, but, uh, you know, the Wookiee's going to remember. The Wookiee's going to come back. Now, Boba obviously meets the Rancor. The trainer tells him that uh, the first person it sees is the one it trusts, and it sees that as its master and the one it's taken over. You know, it, it takes after that master, but the trainer seems shady to me. I'm not sure I trust him, mainly probably because he's played by Danny Trejo, who you can never be trusted, <laughs> it seems, in these, uh, in these shows that he appears in, uh, you know, just like Breaking Bad. But uh, yeah, I don't trust that. I don't trust that. But we'll see where that goes. I imagine Bob will end up having a bit of a problem with the rank or a little battle going on. But uh, we'll see how he deals with that. Now, when the Huts did visit Bob, they told him that uh, the land or, you know, the, the role of crime boss has in fact been promised to someone else, not Bob and not the Huts. So uh, Boba and Fennec go to investigate this, really see what's going on. You know, the mayor, we, we sense he's been lying anyway, but, uh, you know, they, they're going to hunt down the truth. But they find he's not there. They only find, like, his ward, um, who they have to chase down. You know, he they're chasing him down through speeders on the streets of uh, Mos Espa. Uh, but it's not really Boba and Fennec doing the chasing. It's just his new group doing the chasing. And this whole speeder chase sequence, it didn't feel very Star wars -y. It did feel kind of out of place it just i don't know the music the way it just it just didn't feel like a, a star wars sequence to me um you know i think this group that they've brought in just for this episode it just it hasn't fit the tone that they've been laying for the rest of the the season so far so i'm hoping we don't really see more of that if if so i hope it's minimal because that whole speeder sequence like yes it had some you know it was kind of cool but you know it did it did feel out of place so i feel like it would have been better if just fennec and boba were chasing you know boba show him off using his jetpack that would have been cool to see but here we are 
Now, of course, they do get to the ward and they find out from the ward that the mayor is, in fact, working with the Pikes. You know, it seems like there is a conspiracy, the mayor working with the Pikes in order to, to overthrow uh, Bobba as crime boss. And sort of, I think the mayor wants to get that position because, because crime boss has a higher position, a higher ranking, more control than the actual mayor does. So I think here the mayor seems to want to take over that and he's using the pikes to get to it. But uh, even there, there could be some betrayal between the pikes and the mayor. You never know. But uh, that seems to be the truth of it all. So it's not, it's nothing huge. It's not like a huge, crazy conspiracy. But uh, you know, that that's where the story is leading to. And I'm still intrigued to see how it ends up, how Boba deals with this threat. Um, because it seems like a lot of people are actually working against him um, and he's, he's really got to keep his eyes peeled. It seems like the only person he can trust is Fennec. I mean, this was a good episode. It was a short episode today. It was only about 30 minutes compared to last week, which felt about 40, 45. So this was a shorter episode um, and it, it was good for the most part. But like I said, that, that group did fill out a place. It just, it, you know, I think it would have been better if they'd used like aliens for that or just, you know, some sort of other species that we recognize that we've seen before in the likes of, you know, Moss Espa, Moss Eisley, uh, just in general throughout the Star Wars universe, I think, you know, they, they just fell out of place because they're all humans and they just felt like, they felt like humans. They didn't feel like humans in a Star Wars universe. They just felt like humans. You know, we'll see how that goes. That was the only drawback I had, but it didn't really affect the, the story, the quality of the episode too much. It just kind of took you out of it in the segments they were involved in. But overall, still a good episode. Pushed the story forward and I would give it a 7 out of 10. I'm, um, uh, yeah, looking forward to next week it's it's one of them because it was a shorter episode it just felt like oh you know not not disappointing but it's just like damn you waited a week you get 30 minutes and you know some of it was a bit iffy at times and then now you've got to wait another week but that's that's the thing with tv shows and you take a risk um, when you're not binging it and waiting you know at the end for it all to come out you have to you have to deal with the week to week and hope that it still uh, does well you know not as good as last week's episode but a solid episode nonetheless and uh, of course i'm still excited for next week do let me know if you have any theories if you've been watching it if you like it uh, let me know what you think uh, thank you all for watching i've been joe squared and i will see you in the next video Bye bye